Hello guys, I hope you're doing fine. Today we are going to talk about this tower of memory problem. It's kind of related to recursion that we are going to do. Recursion is basically a function that is going to call itself again and again. So first of all, let's understand how this tower of memory problem actually works. Okay, so let me, yeah, this, this is the picture that's going to clear you about the doubts related to tower of memory. There are some rules that need to be followed when we are going to move these disks from one tower to another tower. So initially there are going to be, not initially, but always there will be three towers in here. Tower A, B, and C. We name them according to A, B, and C like this, okay? And there are some disks, and initially it will be placed on tower A. Tower A is the initial tower. It will have disk. The number of disks depend, like maybe uh, three, maybe five, ten, whatever it is, okay? So if we look into this diagram, you can see that there are three towers. The original position is the disks are placed on tower A, and then if you see the picture number one, or you can say the step number one in this case from zero to one, we will need to move the disk number one from tower A to tower B. Now, how these disks are being moved, this is the uh, question, but there are some rules that need to be uh, you know, accomplish or that need to be followed when we are moving the uh, disk like that. First rule is there will be n number of uh, disks, maybe n by n I mean it could be any number. And then no disk can be placed on the top of smaller disk, okay? And then all disks are initially placed on tower A. Only one disk can be moved at one time, like that. So now look into uh, step number two. What we have done after that is we take the disk number two from tower A, we placed it on tower number C. And then if you look into the third step in this case, we placed tower number B, that is tower one, on tower uh, C, on, on the top of tower B, uh, disk B. Why? Because disk B is larger, disk one is smaller in this case. Then we got tower A that has the largest disk, that is three. We move that tower disk to tower B like that, okay? So move disk three from tower, from tower A to tower B. Okay, then you see that we move the tower, if you look into point number five, uh, from tower one to tower A. Uh, the disk number one moved to tower A like that. And from there, we just move the disk that was at tower C, that was disk number two, we moved it to B. So now it's kind of following the pattern. So if you see, no smaller disk or no disk can be placed on the top of the small disk. So all disks are following these logics. We have to make all, move all these disks from tower A to tower B by following the rules. That is it. Now, uh, this problem is kind of pretty similar or pretty easy when it comes to only three disks. But if there, at there are, let's say, four disks, then the number of steps will be more and the complexity of the problem will increase a lot as well. Okay. So we need to take care of this thing by placing or, or by using the recursion. Because recursion allow us to follow some pattern or there is a pattern that is involved in here that will help us in actually moving the disk from one tower to another tower without any much of the extra stuff that we need to do. Now, for example, if I'm going to open another image, uh, I think there was an image like that. So if I go for there. Okay, now this image is kind of uh, telling us about the recursive process, uh, recursive nature of the tower of Hanoi problem. And if we look into this thing, we have three towers. Original position is A, and it has N minus one disk. These are the number of disks that we will uh, get up in there, okay? So what we will do is we will move all these N minus one disks because these disks are following the rules. Like, okay, take all of them and place it on uh, from, uh, we need to move from A to C, okay? We placed all of them from tower A to tower C, and then we move the number of disks or N from tower A to tower B, the one that is left on this case, and then we move from tower C to tower B, and that's how this recursively, uh, the recursive nature of the problem solve this complex problem in a pretty easier way, okay? So this is basically the logic of these you know, a recursive nature of the Tower of Hanoi problem. And now we will convert that into a logic, into an executable program. 
So we have this class already set up, Tower of Hanoi and all that. Now let's say we are going to write a function. I'm going to call this function as public static void move and it will have four parameters. N is the number of disk and then I will get string tower A, string tower B and string tower C like that, okay. Initially we are going to say if the number of disk are zero, don't do anything, just simply return from this, okay. Else what we will do, we will call this problem or call this function recursively for n minus one, the number of disk initially that it has and we will make it move from tower A to tower C to tower B, like that. And then we will print out, okay, let's see how it's working. So we, can, we are saying move, um, then we need to move, let's say, N. And then we are gonna say, from, let's try it. From, okay, let's go back up. It will be getting moved from tower A to tower C, okay? The A is basically the initial tower and C is the final tower that we got in this case, okay? So I'm going to write in here, let's say tower A to tower C. So from tower A to it will basically show us like in the way that we are moving it, tower C. Okay, then call this one again n minus 1 tower C tower B and here this is the initial tower A that like that okay and then that's basically the uh, logic of this program now in this case we can ask the user to enter the number of the disk that he wants so user input new scanner like this. We will ask the user the number of disks. These number of disks will be integers, so user input dot next int is the function that we are going to use. And then we are going to call this uh, function, this one, okay. So um, call the move function this and then we are going to say here tower A, B and C. So tower A, tower B and tower C like that. All right, now let's run it and for initially like the picture that we saw, it got involved with these two and three disks and at that time we have seven steps. Okay, now we will count the number of steps for three disks, see if it's the same one or not. Let it run, three. Okay, so C, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, so it's working fine. If we are going to make it for five steps, then the number of, you know, the steps will increase. So this, with the help of the recursive problem or recursive solution, it becomes pretty easy to understand. But if you we, if we want to follow the iterative approach for that, it's going to become a little bit difficult to solve as well. So I hope you understand this logic. And if you have any question, you can ask me in the comments. See you next time. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.